Hey guys, it's Alex here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's workout is a dumbbell shoulder day. If you're looking for a quick, efficient workout to build strength and muscle in your shoulders, across this area, this area, even the triceps, then this is the workout for you. If you just have one set of dumbbells, then that's okay, I'll help you adjust. However, if you do have a variety of dumbbells of different weights, then you're gonna have an even better workout. I'm probably just gonna use two different dumbbells, so I've got um, a set of 12.5 kilos and a set of eight kilos, and we're gonna go through some compound exercises, isolation exercises, to have an all-round epic shoulder burn. So let's get into it. Okay, starting in a warm-up, really important to spend a few minutes warming up the shoulders, we don't want any injuries today. So let's go for some big shoulder rolls backwards, big circles. We're gonna mobilize the shoulder joint, get some blood in the area, get the scapula and back muscles activated so then when we come to lifting, we're in a safe position. Bring your elbows tight to the body, hands and arms at 90 degrees, and just open and close in that rotator cuff and just start moving this motion. Try to keep your elbows nice and tight to the body. Just nice and slowly, in and out, feeling that stretch and working in the shoulders. Let's take it down onto the floor into a W to Y raise. So, chin to chest, arms up, extend and pull. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Nice and slowly extending the arms and pulling back. Now go for big circles, hands behind your back. Up straight, big circles from the top all the way down. Keeping your hands and elbows off the floor. Should start to feel the activation across the back. And then last one, come up to high plank position. And from here, we'll turn it shoulder touch, nice and slow, core strong, and touching your opposite shoulder as you keep that one arm straight and strong. So, let's get started in the workout. Go 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, starting in a shoulder press. We're just going for dumbbells above the head into a shoulder press for exercise number one. Okay, get ready in five seconds. Gonna start with shoulder press for 40 seconds. Start with a light weight as we build it in. Let's go. So starting with the light weight now because we're just gonna extend that warm up into the first weighted exercise. Come down just to about 90 degrees at the elbow. If you feel your shoulders are weak, you're just working through that range of motion. Fully extend the arms up to the top. Make sure your core is engaged, stomach in and squeeze your glutes so you have a strong foundation to push from. Keep going. We're gonna go for 40 seconds, so just five seconds left. We are in, we have started 20 seconds rest. So, we're going straight into exercise two, which is a lateral raise, lifting up to the side. If you have light weights, then great. If you need to do this with no weights at all, just to activate the shoulders, that's fine. I'm gonna carry on with my eights for 40 more seconds. In three, two, one, let's go. If it is slightly heavy, then you can bring dumbbells in front of you just to help that first initial stage get to shoulder height and then control down. Don't just drop the weights down, control. Keep going, halfway. And keep your palms facing the floor. So don't bring the dumbbells backwards. Keep your palms facing down and dumbbells out wide. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. It's gonna be non-stop, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, the shoulders are gonna absolutely burn. We're gonna stay on those two exercises for a superset for three sets. So get ready for shoulder press again. You don't need very heavy because we're gonna burn out the shoulders. Lots of lactic acid and lots of muscle building potential. Let's go. Back to exercise one, shoulder press. 
Nice and slow and controlled. You now know what's ahead of you. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Building into the shoulders. A superset, meaning one exercise followed by another. Stay here for three sets. And then we're gonna do that with three different supersets. 10 seconds. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Bring the dumbbells directly above the head. Two, one, and rest. Oh, this is good. Rest there, shake it off. The shoulders are warm already. That's good, I can certainly feel it. Going into the lateral raise next. Keeping good technique as much as you can. But if you feel, in three, two, one. If you feel you need to do a cheat rep, which is fine by the way, with good technique. If you need to throw the dumbbells up, then make sure you control it back down. But ideally, try to have a weight that works the shoulders. And if you don't have anything lighter and it's too heavy for you, household items, seriously do a good job. A couple of kilos in each hand with maybe cans or filled water bottles. Build in those traps, those deltoids. Five, three, two, one, and relax. That's two out of three. One more to go. In these rest periods, just enjoy that 20 seconds rest. I love these kind of workouts because you know at the gym, you don't work as hard as this. In the gym, you rest for five minutes, chatting or looking at your phone. Here, we just work, get the work done. Here we go. Which is why I haven't picked up the 12 and a halfs. I've just started with the eights to see how I go. Because we can leave the ego at the door and just work on what feels good, what challenges us as individuals. Make sure you're going slow, coming down. No shoulder injuries, you need that stability. And then push and drive up, 10 seconds. Keep pushing, three, two, one. Rest there. That is it for the shoulder press. In the next superset, we're going for an Arnold or an Arnie shoulder press. Moving into a lateral raise for the final time. Shoulders are working. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Final time, lateral raise. Drive it up, squeeze out of control. Elbows high, lead with the elbows. Elbows up, hands up. If it gets tough, cheat rep and control down. Even consider one at a time if you really hit failure. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. We're going into the next superset, an Arnold press. Dumbbells narrow here, palms facing you. Turn and push. Turn back in, turn and push. Moving into superset number two. In three, two, one, let's go. Palms in, elbows in. Drive up and turn, control back down to here. Drive up and turn, so palms are facing you, palms are facing out. In and out with the rotation, control. Always core strong, glutes switched on, long spine. Getting strong in those shoulders. Always keep in control. Five, three, two, one, and rest there. We're going into a front raise, so we went out here, now we're coming up here, a little bit tougher, again, if you can't do both at the same time, focus on one at a time. It's gonna be easier, you're gonna achieve less reps in the 40 seconds, 
see how you feel with the weight that you have. In three, two, one, here we go. Straight up, again, palms facing down. Palms always facing down. Use the shoulders to lift. If you hit failure, one arm at a time. Because then you can focus on that squeeze in the shoulders to lift. 10 seconds. We're here to work for 20 something minutes. It's not long at all. Rest. That is set one of this superset. Repeat the same again for two more sets. This is a great one for building the shape in the body. We build strong shoulders, we're wide up here, bring in that narrow waist as you drop body fat and get a nicer core. Are you ready? In two, one, here we go. Back up to the army press. Drive up. The eccentric portion of the rep, the controlling down, gets a lot of our results. So don't rush it. Always keeping shoulder blades back, shoulders back, no impingement at the front. Engaged in those back muscles. Four, three, two, one, and rest. So as you can see, I'm working hard with these eight kilos. I'm not even going to touch those 12 and a half, so they're just to look good. But you can see how with minimal rest and lots of work, we don't need much weight. Ideally, if I had a lighter one for the isolation, that'd be great, so maybe you do. Get ready for front raise. Let's go. <sighs> Choose between both arms or one at a time, depending on what weight you have. Shoulders back. Head up, no crouching forwards. Halfway. Control. 10 seconds. Palms facing down, long arms. Two, one, and rest. Oh, wow, okay. Two sets of that, one more to go. Feeling the pump, tight up in those anterior delts already. Get ready for final set of this one. And then move into the third super set. Three, two, one, let's go. Final set, final set in the Arnold press. Make it a good one. Keep your weight evenly across your feet, heels down, toes down, strong base. Lock out the legs, squeeze the glutes, but soften the knees. Chest forwards. Keep driving, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Rest there. Oh yes, we're working. Final set in the front raise before we move into the third superset. No time to rest, barely even any time to drink. If you need some water, go ahead. The sweat is already coming as well. Two, one, let's go. Into the front raise, shoulders back, chest up, lift. You can try both arms, you can go back to single arms, whatever's right for you and the weight that you have. Keep going, 10 seconds. It's at this point I can tell the difference also between left and right strength as I'm hitting fatigue. Three, two, one, and rest there. 
two new exercises starting in the shrug, which is just a straight arm. So if you have, your, have a heavier dumbbell, this is when you use it. If you don't, don't worry, it's still gonna work. But you can lift a lot heavier with a small movement. We're going from here, lifting up and down. Two, one, let's go. Keep your arms straight. There is no bending at the elbows here. We're just up and down. Strengthening the trapezius of the back. And inside those shoulders. So keep your arms long. Lift up your shoulders to your ears. And then relax back down. Keep going, 10 seconds. If you've got a light weight, that's okay. Squeeze at the top. If you've got slightly heavier, you should be able to feel it. Two, one, and rest for 20. Exercise two, we're going for a face pull type exercise. Bend forward slightly, hold on to your lightest dumbbells. From here, bring the dumbbells up. You see this angle in the shoulders? I want you to externally rotate, work the rotator cuff to pull up at whatever angle feels good. Two, one, just feel what's natural. Bend forwards and pull in towards the side of your head. Make sure your core is strong, you have a flat back throughout. And work the shoulders. You can even try bending a little bit less or bending and standing like an upright row. But as long as you feel healthy and safe in the shoulders, then that's good. If you feel like you're working a bad angle, then make an adjustment. Two, one, and rest. It's really important with all this internal rotation. When we're pressing, we're internally rotating the shoulder. We need to get that external rotation to balance off the shoulder movements. Those two exercises, let's repeat. Two more sets, back into the shock. In three, two, one, let's go. Long arms, lift and squeeze. Get a good pause at the top. Pause at the top, squeeze and release. Don't try and get the height through bending the elbows. Lengthen and lift. Keep on going, almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. 20 seconds rest before we go into that face pull or upright row. If you have a weight where you are able to just upright row here, then that's great. And the difference between dumbbell upright row and barbell upright, upright row is the flexibility you have. The range of motion is dependent on your shoulder. Let's go. Whereas a barbell fixes you and you can't change it. So here, we're moving in whatever way your shoulder wants to go. Or a bent over version here, a little bit tougher on the upper back. but really good to work behind the shoulders rather than just the anterior. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Make sure also that your lower back is safe, glutes are switched on. If you're going to this bent over position, that you're engaged, not rounded like this. One more set of those two exercises. The shoulder workouts flying by. We're so close to the end already. Get ready for the shock. Let's go. Final set. Make it good. Pause at the top. Control. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Shoulders back. And do this exercise without making funny faces. It's difficult. I find I scrunch up my face. 
my upper lip comes up. 10 seconds, keep going. Rip hard, great for forearm strength. Biceps, two, one, and rest. Final time in the upright row or bent over face pull. And then we're going straight into a one minute finisher. Now you know where we are. So close to the end of the workout, but it's a good shoulder day. Three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you feel safe, strong. Don't go through any uncomfortable range of motion. Working on that external rotation strength to balance off all of the pressing. Twelve seconds. Progressing to an upright row. Three, two, one, and rest for twenty. Okay, we are going into the final minute of work. When you hit failure, drop it and then come back in. You've got one minute to get as many reps as you can. We are just pulsing. A shoulder press pulse. Never reaching the top. Get ready, get your lightest dumbbells. Three, two, one. Let's go. We're gonna hit failure because there's not much left here. Going back to exercise one to finish off the day. Don't fully extend the arms. Pulsing. When you hit failure, drop the dumbbells, shake it off, and come back in until the minute is done. Keep good technique. Nothing funky in the final set. Keep it good. 25 seconds left. This is the mental game. I really want to stop. I really want to stop. But I'm not going to. 15, oh yes, come on, keep pushing, pulsing, don't hit the top, five, three, two, one, and rest, there we go, workout complete, how dead do your arms feel, full of blood, full of lactic acid, and that's how you build muscle in 20 minutes okay with minimal equipment one set of dumbbells or two or a few whatever you got so focus on your breathing your breath work as we do a few stretches whenever you're ready just start doing rolls back in the shoulders that was intense non-stop work with a variety of different exercises to build strength in the shoulders so we just want to Release some of that blood out of there. Bring one arm across the body. Use the other hand on the forearm or upper arm and just softly pull across. Feel that stretch in the deltoid. Drop the shoulder and pull across. Relax, shake it off. Other side, relax the shoulders, arm across. Oh, it's pumped. And drop the shoulder. Pull across. Okay. Interlock the fingers, drop the shoulders down, and reach the arms forwards. Drop the chin down. It's like hugging a tree. Go out there and hug a tree, and you get a nice stretch across the upper back. Whoa. And last one, insert the fingers behind your back, the upper chest and the anterior deltoids working hard there. Push the hands down your back and push the hands backwards. Chest up, head up. Feeling that stretch across the shoulders. Oh. And shake it off. Session complete. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you look after your nutrition. Get that protein up to build the muscle. Track your nutrition. Make sure if you're looking for 
um, weight gaining, muscle building, that you're getting your calories in into a calorie surplus. If you're looking to get leaner, then make sure that your calories are around maintenance, a slight deficit to lose body fat while building or maintaining the muscle that you have. And keep these workouts coming. Make sure that you download my CropFit Fitness app for more workouts if you haven't already, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for plenty more workouts. So give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.